Assalamualaikum everyone. Welcome back to the Bible Study Model. In this video, we are going to make the, the first, sorry, third one tab of this master. This one is the, I think, fourth tab. Yes, it's the fourth tab of master. And we are going to make the added one. This one is a lot spiky and stylish. And we have to make it a, a lot detailed too. So first of all, we do not read the global entire subdivision and mirror modifier. Then we add length to it and extrude the speed out. Then adjust the shape by clicking some vertices and add scaling some groups right there and scale some length from the four side, from the side and front. Like this, it is important to check out if the shape looks good from the four side. Like this, we have to increase some area if necessary. And now we need to extrude or duplicate this shape right here. We need to make the feet of this character. Only one extrusion is needed. And then we will adjust the shape and the logo. And then duplicate this space right here and subdivide and make it circle. And extrude it and give it spike shape look and scale them zero. Do not merge them, but scale scaling is important. Okay, now merge in the center, insert merge in the center. Now set the shape of the feet tool and the cone spike of the feet. Okay, this looks much better. And now we do, we need to make the arms. To make the arms at another cube and again to side pieces and then move them down and set the shape of the arm. Only little arm side is enough. Then we will extrude out the gloves and whatever they are. And then make the glove as three fingers. Just like insert this right here and main crease just a little, not much. And extrude out the fingers, two fingers and one thumb. Okay, move this edge right, slide them to the mesh, slide them to the back and extrude out the thumb and as it is, extrude out the fingers. Just like this, one finger and only two subdivision is important. Now the fingers are complete. We can adjust them by scaling it and move them closely to the to the arm. Now move like the whole body and move it a little bit to the side to give it give the body a broadness and some strong structure. And now delete the top loop of this right here. But first move this loop closer to that loop. And now delete it and Fill them and main freeze them. It is important. Now main freeze some area like thumb and sorry, the tip of the thumb and finger. We can main freeze them, but this looks good to me. So I, if necessary, then then main freeze it. Otherwise, don't. Okay, main and then duplicate this loop right here, just like we did to the second master tag. We duplicate this loop right here and scale it and make it a snapshot of it. Extrude out like that and add one loop at the middle. Then move some vertices around to give it some roundish scale from front and back. Then extrude out to give it some thickness. And remember to keep it big from the rest of the shape. Not much big, but Big is important, make it big. Okay, now we increase some area to give it some solidness look. Now duplicate the cone from the feet and move it to the next to the shoulder. The one we the shoulder cuff we just made and place them and join them to the shoulder cuff and make it one of the, the shoulder and the cone spikes, whatever they are. And only one, two, three, four types of separate objects we have like feet, gloves, and 
daughter and now has screwed up the head. You now we need to apply all the modifiers. So let's see mirror and how to the modifier. We will just add it and read the half part and add another mirror and subdivision to make the mouth and the eyes on this direction. So then we are looking much smaller outside that little. Now duplicate this two right here and move them around and give it some correctness too. But first correctness is needed but later on first we need to set the shape of the mouth. By then delete this vertex right here and now add blue cut in the middle and next to the middle one. Just like this. Now main free from area. Right like this and move the little bit down like that. We can extrude out some areas if you want or deleting what this whatever way you want to do it. I'll do this way. It is a lot simpler and easy to make. Like that. Shoulder cuffs are looking much wider than the arms. We have to keep it broad from the from both sides. Like this, now we have the bound a little bit solidness by extruding out and spread some vertices between some areas and move them close to the head. Now we need to make the eyes make the eyes a little bit smaller and we need to make the eyebrows to make it angry. Make the eyes round and then eyebrows will make it angry. Okay, it needs a lot of detail but it is easy to make. So please try it. Try to make it and this is a tutorial for how can on how how can we make such type of monster. Now we can color it as the rest of the monster. Color the same color like the rest of the monster. So this was the tutorial. We can add armature to it later on to animate in case we need to animate it. Then I'll see you in the next one. Follow me to create more content like this. Like, share, subscribe my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. This is the final result. Allah Hafiz.